Um, obviously, um, you know, I cry every day. Okay. That's why my right hand goes like this. It's like everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. It's just like a mama cradling her loved ones, right? Um, and so when I was looking at some stuff this morning that I shared with Aaron, I don't always share everything with Aaron because of, um, everything that Aaron has to deal with. And I'm in this house with Aaron, right? But he is a highly intelligent being. And so when I share a certain piece of information, he can put it together because of how much I love him because of what happened to him when he was a child. And so you don't want to, when it comes to the disclosure, you know, introducing information like into the fold, if you will, to others, particularly when you know that they've been traumatized, it's always going to be about what their reaction state is going to be. So it's like test means testing the waters. Okay. It's like spoon feeding, like a parent's going to spoon feed a child. I'm going to give you a little bit, see how you do. See what your reaction state is, and then you begin to get a little bit more information. As you're getting a little bit more energy, you become a little more awake, and now you're able to connect to a much larger library of information. That becomes a network. Now you begin to understand how a larger star network is now hooking up and connecting with the real stars, which is the real living universe that we create out of what love is, because that's who we are. Okay? So when I got the little message about the core, you can understand, for example, why my energy, who I am, right? My bloodline is Arcturian, okay? Just like Karen and Luke McDonald, and I'm a monopole, a monad. So that's the center point of balance in any sphere, right? And so when you, you get down to the core, okay, anytime that you look at the cross, okay, in any cell, all you have to do is draw a, a vertical line and a horizontal line. That's a cross, right? Okay, so now you have the spaces that are in between. But within that sphere, that sphere of light, which is running hot, right, is emitting. It's emitting. It's broadcasting a signal of energy, right? So when you think of the center point, this is why they were using the program about things that are external to you. Your projection screens, if everything comes as a result of what's out there rather than starting what's in within you, you wouldn't be able to experience what's is in your mirror if it didn't start with you. Your ability to process all those codes, which represent all those color codes, which represent all those information, because you're now experiencing it in the light. You know, darkness and light. So when a soul fractures, which is what the light is, which is what love is, and it's like a sharded dark glass, it goes dark. Because if it was once experiencing love, and now it's experiencing trauma as a result of what somebody else did with their consciousness that represents their energy, then they're not experiencing love. They're experiencing the lower vibration of the density to which it did that to them. Right? So that's what soul fragments are. They're the result of star wars between star nations, which are seated races that occupy or live in those star systems. Right? Okay, so that naturally means it's not natural to be a war. It's unnatural. It's not natural because that's not the natural flow in which energy, which is music in spirit, is maintaining the peace naturally and harmony and waves because it's music. So music is math, which is a ratio, which is a harmonic. Right? So there's a mathematician that's built into the music naturally because you're experiencing the natural flow of the love energy that flows through you. So you are naturally gifting away electrons. So that's direct current. Okay? <laughs> but it's alternating between spin cycles. So when you realize that, like when you go out and spin a top, right? Okay, you can spin it to the right or you can spin it to the left, right? And watch it spin and go. Look at it go, just like a gyro, right? So 
when I get certain information to see how successful we are at the grid work that is done and everybody that is involved in doing this is to get her up, get mom up, get mom up. And that's where Terrence McKenna was absolutely right. He, he understood what it means to have a critical mass of higher vibration consciousness that is experiencing more light, which means they're breaking through all the miasma. They're breaking through all the goo codes. Now they're experiencing the higher vibration, the higher octave of the female, which is rebirth of Gaia going up. Okay, that's goddess energy. Okay. So you know what when there's a a male and a female and me that's perfectly balanced, which is androgynous, right? You, you see how that works. That means that your star is balanced, your spheres are balanced. But you're all your cells are balanced because you're mostly water. So that's a water rule, which is a water column, right? So it's beautiful. And so what it means is that is that the work that everyone is doing and why I'm so eternally grateful, because you know that you're not alone in this. Okay, is um it's like what I've said before. I will know because I will experience it. I will feel it in my heart and my soul to know, which is to feel the work that's been successful. So now the spin is going in the other direction. And that's called spiritual cleansing which is spiritual healing, right? Which is clearing all the goo codes, all the binary stuff, right? Which is the alien stuff, the alien intelligence stuff. It's alien, right? It's not who we are. So now you get into the negative alien agenda, Orion and all the rest of it. So I mentioned something to Aaron, and it and it's true because of how much love I have in my heart. Uh, they don't want to pick a battle with Arcturians. That is not a very intelligent decision, or the Palladians for that matter, or the Syrians for that matter, or the Lyrans for that matter. There is really one law, which is what love is. And the balance of spheres naturally want to be in balance because the atoms want to be in balance. So that's pretty basic physics, right? And so we've been successful. And that's why, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, when I get, when these little snippets come up on my Facebook page, hey, go look at this. And a guy was saying, hey, Orion's on its face now. No, it's on this way. Hey, it's not where it used to be. That's because they're reporting the changes of what we're doing behind the scenes, the work that's being done. Remember Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan with the hoodie? You wouldn't know Obi-Wan was doing work when Obi-Wan was there. Uh, yeah, remember Star Wars? Obi-Wan? You know, he, he's not dressed in any emperor's clothes trying to impress anybody with all the medals and everything else. Look how rich I am and all that. No, he's just wearing a robe. He's just in the, he's in the scene, right? He's in the scene. He's in the play, right? <laughs> I love you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It, it's true. Um, it doesn't have another counter move. It's been, when you think of checkmate, even though that's binary, checkerboard, right? Black and white squares. It doesn't have a counter move. It's over. Uh, so this is a, a, a great day to celebrate. I celebrated yesterday, actually. I, I celebrate life with love every day. Actually, every... Uh, it's... Uh, sending you all flowers. Sending you all flowers. Sending you all the essence of all the flowers. All the flowers, mama. All the flowers, mama. We love you, we love you, we love you.